chosen ones where you where you where you where you chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great yes chosen one this person is so angry with you and mad at you oh yes chosen one and dying yes and yeah is the reason why yes chosen one pay attention to this video watch this video to the entire end and make sure you ponder over whatever i'm about to share with you and i tell you when you understand this message and you decode this message very well that will give you peace of mind and peace of heart and help you to know how to relate with people around you right great yes chosen one the thing is chosen one when you give something for free for someone for the first time it creates appreciation and when you give something free for someone for the second time it creates anticipation and when you give something for free for someone for the third time it creates expectation when you give something for free for someone for the fourth time for the fourth time it creates entitlement and when you give something for free for the fifth time to someone it creates dependency oh yes to someone and this is it when you are not able to give something for free for the sixth time to someone right that creates hatred yes it creates hatred it creates envy and jealousy it creates internal depression it creates frustration oh yes so now the person now be, will become so angry at you the person is going to hate you to the core and if core if care is not taken this person will go to any length to tarnish your image to spoil your name to say evil things about you to say bad things about you this person can even turn an enemy to you now to even attack you oh yes and this person can recruit people to become your enemies to hate you i'm telling you all because you being a good person a kind person a compassionate person and you wanting to help the person to be there for the person that is it with humans yes in this life in this era in this generation that we are living in when you are doing something for free for somebody that is what the people evolve you know things and that is what they they they, they expect okay so when a time comes that no you yourself you realize that no you are also suffering right and you don't want to give for free anymore they become mad at you they become so mad at you they become so angry at you yes and sometimes they, 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 the worst part of it is they trying to fight you oh yeah tooth and nail yeah and this happens in a relationship right when you give your meat to your partner all right and a time comes and you stop giving your meat to your partner your partner become angry at you your partner begins to develop you know internal depression become very anxious they de develop anxiety in them and that makes them to act out of character i'm telling you chosen someone you see the meat that i'm using here is not the meat that we chew but this meat is an acronym right the m stand for your money when you have been giving your money free for someone maybe your partner maybe be a lover that you've met maybe somebody all right you want to go in in a date with and you start giving the person something for free you, you start giving that person your meat for free right these are the things you create in the first time you create appreciation the second time you create anticipation the third time you create expectation the fourth time you creating entitlement the fifth time dependency so when a time comes that you are not able to give this person money anymore yes the person will turn against you the person will be angry at you 
Yes. That is with the money, the meat. We are decoding the meat. The E, okay, I told you the meat is an acronym. The E is energy. When you realize that everything is energy and people are wasting your energy and you don't want to give your energy for free to anyone anymore. You see, but before then you've been giving to them. You give to the first time, you give to the second time, you give to the third time, you give to the fourth time, you give to the fifth time. And it creates that dependency. The moment you said no, ha, ah, you will not be at peace anymore. They will be mad at you. Yes, they will be mad at you. The E, okay, um, the, the, the meat, okay, we, we, we decoding the meat. The, the E is your energy. The A now is attention. And the T, time. So let me put the two together because attention, when you are giving someone your attention, you are giving the person your time. Right. Great. The moment you are with a lady and you give something for free, you give the lady your attention for free for the first time, you create appreciation. You give your attention for free for the second time, you create anticipation. You give your attention for free for the third time, you create entitlement no you create expectation right you create expectation so the person will be expecting something you give your attention for free for the fifth for the fourth time fourth time right then the person feels entitled that all the time you got to be there for the person you you have to be giving your attention your time all the time all right entitlement mentality then when it continues and happens for the fifth time it creates dependency now they are expecting you to be giving them your attention and your time you know and these things are money time is money have you heard of that time is money i remember in my locality where i grew up there was this old man that is called time is money and er any time i'm wasting my time i remember that time is money paul stop wasting your time when you stop giving people your attention and your time Knowing that time is a heavenly resource, it's a great resource at your disposal. And time waits for no man. And you stop giving them that. I'm telling you, they're going to be frustrated. They're going to be angry. They're going to hate you. They're going to develop internal depression. And that is going to develop anxiety inside of them. Because now they see you as, you know, a giver that you got to be there. But here is the key. Everybody needs to understand. I know you under the sound of my voice. You one time feel like that. Okay? That is why we, we, we have to keep on learning. We have to keep on developing ourselves. We have to keep on listening to inspirational and motivational messages like this. Okay? To give us peace of mind. To help us detach ourselves from the result. From whatever we've been getting from people. If someone is helping you. It could be your partner. Right? Maybe the person is giving you love and the time comes, the person is not giving you love. You need to understand the person. We must love in a way that the people we love feel free. Yes, we must do things in a way that the people we are with feel free. That they have the freedom to do what they want. They have the freedom to be themselves. But now, because you feel entitled and you develop some sort of dependency, you have that expectation mentality of them. Which they cannot fulfill all your expectation. No person in, 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 in this world that you meet, that even become your partner or whatever, can fulfill all your love expectation. No, no person can do that. Right? So we must detach ourselves. We must learn to detach ourselves. To control our emotions. Learning how to control your emotion is going to take you very far in life. That will give you peace of mind. That will give you that heart of forgiveness. Yes, and you will temper justice with mercy. And no matter what happens, you will be okay with yourself. You will be at peace with yourself. Your mental health will not, will not be at stake. But when you have this mentality of taking things for free, receiving things for free from people, and you develop this expectation mentality, this entitlement mentality, this dependency mentality, and now the person is no more. You become 
frustrated. You become frustrated. And we need to understand that whatever we are not born with can leave us at any point in time. Yes, whatever we are not born with. So the person that is helping you for free, it will get to a time that person will leave. Oh, yes. Even relationship, nobody knows how long any given relationship is going to last. So until then, you must learn to detach yourself. If the person is good to you, the person is kind, the person, the person is compassionate to you and helping you and supporting you. Know that these things aren't going to be such forever. The person can die and go. Yes, the person, health can fill the person. The person can be ill and the person will not get that energy to be working and be giving to you like he or she used to do. So we must learn all these things and develop a new mentality. Yes, I know sometimes we feel these kind of feelings, but we need to learn and try to, I mean, control ourselves, not, not, not be, to be dependent on people so much to the extent that without them, we cannot live, we cannot move on, we cannot cope, we cannot survive. That is why you got to do something for yourself. And we all need to understand that nobody owes you anything. And you also do not owe anybody anything. So whatever people are doing for you, stop feeling entitled and having that mindset of expectation and dependency on them. I'm telling you, nobody owes you anything. Including your mom, including your dad, including your family, your relatives, whoever you meet. They don't owe you anything. And you too, you do not owe them anything. The moment you understand this, you start to take responsibility over your life. And whatever anyone that you meet in your life start to do for you, you will only see it as a plus to your life. Yes, you will only see it as a compliment, as a help. Yes, that is why you see the person as your helper. It's, it's just a help. It's something to complement your life. It, the person is not going to be there forever. Yes, even if you are a father, don't put your hope in your woman. Don't put your hope in your children that you're taking care of them so that one day in future they will come and take care of you. You are developing the mindset of expectation entitlement and dependency and when your children aren't able to become the person you have you know uh, uh, the villain the villain of that sort of person you have in your mind for them to become maybe you have a particular job that they have to become so that they will be earning more and so that they, they, they'll be able to support you to help you and now your children fail exams in school and they are not able to get to that height, to that level in life. You become frustrated. You get angry at your own children. You, you get so mad. You get so furious at them. You, 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 you develop internal depression. You de it, and that results in a an, an sort of anxiety. Your children that you are supposed to see and be happy for them. Yes, that through you. There is some continuity of life. Now you see them and you are angry. You see them and you are frustrated. You see them and your anxiety, your heart start to race fast. You see? Yeah. You are with somebody, a man, a woman, and you have this, you know, this kind of expectation of them. They got to behave like this. They got to do like this. They got to do this. They got to do that. You have this expectation, this mindset of entitlement, this mindset of dependency. And now, they fail you. Maybe they find somebody better than you and they leave you. You become angry. You become so frustrated. You become so depressed. You become so anxious. You develop hatred towards them for no reason. Meanwhile, you have to take charge over your own emotions. Yes. Because nobody owes you anything. And this is the thing. You are in charge of your life. You control your thoughts. 
So if you are you are not able to control your own thought and your own thought is producing some sort of negativity and that is eating you up. Stop projecting it on other people. Stop bleeding on other people that do not cut you. Innocent people. Your children, your wife, your husband, your partner, the people that, I mean, wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly they, they decide to help you. Because you control your thoughts. Your thought becomes your words. You control your words. Your words becomes your, 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 your actions. You control your actions. Your actions become your habits. You control your habits. Your habits become your, 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 your character. Your character is what develops your earthly destiny. So you are in charge of your life. Nobody can do this for you. Nobody can control your thoughts. Nobody can control your words. Nobody can control your actions, your habits, your character. It is, it is all you. It is all on you. You have to do that in order to develop yourself, to advance yourself in life, to better yourself in life. So along the way, if somebody comes to help you, it's just to complement your life. This shouldn't produce some sort of expectation. The mentality of uh, entitlement. The mindset of dependency. It's just hope they are rendering to you. Yes. So these days, people don't want to do good, help people anymore. Because the very people they helped, they stood in for, taking bullet for. These are the very people that tend and hate them. These are the very people that become angry at them. These are the very people that become their enemies and try to stab them at the back. Yes, these are the very people. People have money. People understand life. They have money that they know that this money, they cannot take it anywhere. Yes, they want they die and leave it. Yes, they want to help. But who? Who? Because if you decide to help somebody, even if somebody is not having a place to sleep right now and you have a home and you decide to, I mean, okay, you're not having any place. All right, let me give you my room for three months to sleep in so that you use that time to fix yourself. You see, when the time comes and you are asking the person out, the person become angry. The person become mad. The person now hates you for no reason. The person now become your enemy. That is the world we live in. And these are some of the reasons people don't want to help people anymore. Yes, these are the, some of the reasons. Because people easily feel entitled. They want to depend. They want to bring all their load, the, 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 their frustration. Yes, they want somebody to, 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 to rescue them, to save them. But the truth of the matter is only you can save yourself. You are in total control. You are in charge. Yes. You see, there is this woman who I have this white friend, white lady friend, who is from Germany. And she's very loving, compassionate, and kind. And this woman, Dora, is a special child. So, this white friend of mine decide to be supporting her with some token of money, some gift of money, all right, every three months or so to take care of the child, right? This woman is doing that for years now. The, the lady friend of mine is doing that for years now. And anytime the money is sometimes it delays, there is late. This woman who has this special child, gets mad, get angry, and she, she will always be on me. Call your friend, chat your friend, do this, do this. We don't have this, we don't have that. We don't, have that. you know, some sort of dependency. Meanwhile, be, meanwhile when you, you, you didn't meet this lady friend of mine, you were doing well in life. Your, your daughter is doing okay. This person comes in to complement your life and now it has, I mean, produced some sort of dependency, expectation, entitlement. That is, it looks as if without fear, you know. You see, so it's like people feel like helping people who one day seems like they are creating their own enemies, they are creating enemies for themselves. And that is why people 
once who makes money they want to they, they they go to party and 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 and, sp- and spend millions thousands of money at a party right in in in, in big big places on vacations and come back it's not that they cannot help you with such money they can help you but you will later become their enemy you will hate them you will become angry if you know they stop giving to you yes chosen one someone is mad at you right now and so angry at you and hated you to the core all because you have a kind heart you are good to them you are loving and compassionate and you stood in for them yes so now because you said no they see you as the devil now they hate you they are mad they are angry at you or because they couldn't control themselves they couldn't control themselves so they think now you are the problem meanwhile you ain't the problem you see that's the chosen one so let us learn and build the rightful mindset about people yes you see if you ask somebody and the person is not giving you it is your own mindset that is doing you like that because one you have the expectation of the person that the person is rich the person is wealthy so the person should be able to get you this to get you that it's your own mentality you see that is why we got to look in our own mind when we look into our own mind we will realize there are enough shortcomings that is keeping us in bondage in the hostage and then we begin to work on ourselves Yes. Your brothers, your sisters, your relatives, everyone. They don't owe you anything. You too, you do not owe them anything. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. And that is the more reason why Apostle Paul said, even when you have, act as if you don't have. Detach yourself. Detachment. If you want to have your peace of mind, your peace of heart learn to detach yourself from the resource from whatever you have or someone gives to you and you will always be happy thank you for watching